Well, CBS 46 is advocating for your help tonight. More and more people visiting urgent care centers when they get sick, but instead of making an appointment with a primary care doctor, they go straight to the ER. Yeah, I know a lot of parents that are doing this, you know, to take their kids there, and I know that my parents, they do this for themselves. Our Karen Greer, though, explains why these facilities are changing the face of the healthcare industry. David Weiner knew it was time to see a doctor after feeling under the weather for almost a week. I had a uh, sore throat for the last few days and wanted to get checked out for a strep throat and then also uh, a rash on my hands and face. You're seeing quickly, you get good service uh, and just um, much easier than going to my primary care doctor. New research in JAMA Internal Medicine finds the number of people treated at urgent care centers has more than doubled over the past eight years. While visits to primary care doctors and the emergency room for non-life-threatening conditions are declining. We are a lot more convenient, right? So a patient can look at our wait times live online. Dr. J.D. Zipkin says the centers treat a wide range of conditions from cold and flu to broken bones and injuries that need stitches. But he says urgent care should not replace regular doctor visits and that emergencies always require a trip to the ER. The times that it's really not appropriate to go to an urgent care are things that truly do need the emergency room like heart attacks, strokes, major motor vehicle accidents or any other larger trauma. Most urgent care visits cost significantly less than an ER visit yeah, and are similar in price to a primary care visit. It's red back there. It doesn't look like strep. In less than 30 minutes, Wiener left with a treatment plan for a sore throat and poison ivy. Urgent care clinics can ease demand in crowded, expensive hospital ERs. Plus, the clinics often refer complicated patients to a main hospital. Those are both reasons many urgent care clinics are actually owned by major hospital systems. Karen Greer, CBS 46 News.